PGA Tour Golf. I'm Sir Nick, and this is The Road to the Masters. Hello, Sir Nick. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Sir Nick. Welcome to the Masters. Welcome, everyone, to tonight's stream. Hope you're doing well. Straight in, look at this. Pick up some winnings from last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hope everyone's had a good day. Thank you for all jumping into the stream. Those of you that are in here. So here we go again for another night of EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. Uh, right, where are we to? What are we doing? Let's do our rewards first. First and foremost, let's get these wins. Let's see what goodies we've got here. Five tickets, so that must be the, uh, yeah, that's the Daily Pro. Not too sure how long I'm going to be on tonight, guys. I've got a little bit of a fuzzy headache, so hence the cap on again to shield some of that light. Hopefully I don't get a migraine. All right, let's open this one. Right. So, let's start in usual manner. Let's do the tournaments first. Let's check out these little dailies. Let's see where we are. Bandon Dunes. Whoa, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Woohoo! That's going to be blowy. Wow. Goodness gracious me. Ten to fifteen win. That is crazy. All right, let's see what we can do. Now, from one of golf's newest jewels in the Pacific Northwest, so six Northwest, under par for four holes. That's pretty decent, isn't it? Couple, couple birdies. And in Dunes Golf Resort on the central coast of Oregon, alongside Frank Nabilo. All right, what have we got? What's the win? Frank, Eleven. Look out at this magnificent complex here in Oregon. You can almost talk yourself. Hello, next. What do you mean, who? In Scotland. What are you thinking about? What do you mean, you who? Ready to play a I've been on pretty much every night for the last like three weeks. Well, what's the best shot I can take with my camera around the golf course? So, yeah, it's stunning. But Lynx golf's fun. Uh, let the ball right. go to the ground every can now and again. Can we get this here? Can we get this here? Lines. Nothing wrong with letting that ball bounce a little short. And How you doing there, buddy? The green. Ah, it's a poor shot. I don't recognize this okay, YouTube star. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear me. This is a I feel in there, mate. Feeling any better? Right, what have we got? 14 footer. 15 feet. Wow, that just not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a You're good, are you? By. Cool, cool. That's a terrible start. Right, we're gonna retry that. One retry as always. Nothing new there. One retry. Um yeah, I've got the stream lad set up now, yes. Um, although I'm still doing work on it. Um I still need to change a few things. I can't even remember what my commands are, to be honest with you, mate. I don't even think I've put a commands um, um, uh, thingy up. Scotland's ancient links, alive and well. I just wanted to make sure it was working before I did anything. Dunes Golf Resort here on the central coast of Oregon. Right, that wasn't actually a bad shot. Hello again I mean, welcome. Oh, I'm Rich Lerner. It's actually we up to 15 now. The third and Iona Steven as we move along, but I'm pleased wow, as always swing again. to be joined in the 18th tower by a man who won 15 times around the oh, world, stop. Frank Novello. Stop. And Frank looking forward to what should be a fun uh, soundboard when I don't yeah, know. Very much so, Rich. <laughs> we waited all morning. Those afternoon I don't know, rounds mate. are a little special, aren't they? I'm really looking Oh, the commentator needs to sh just sh be quiet. See if they come out of the gates nice and quick, that's for sure. I know the finish here is always important, but get out of the gates quick and then see if you can finish the job this afternoon. Turn left. Yes, nicely done. It's in for birdie. I will get them. I will get them set now. though. I say I just wanted to make sure it was working first, really, to be honest with you. So, it obviously is. Yeah, commentator is a chatty boy, mate. Yeah, he is very chatty. Right, look at this. What have we got? Look at the size of this green. We're not actually going to make it, are we? We've got a 15 headwind. 
I wonder if we boost it. I wonder if we boost it. Will we get up? Will we get up with a boosty boosty? I've got to give it a go, haven't we? Oof. Is this going to be enough? Oh, that is way nope. right. <laughs> That's no way near enough. Uh, that was a little bit wishful thinking, wasn't it? It'll take some effort from this buried lot, but a chance now. Oh, my word. This green in two. No idea. No idea. And for a short little shot, the heavy rough certainly makes things more difficult because the rough gets between the club face and the ball. But not bad, all things considered. Stay, stay. Did you uh, did you see Angry Joe's uh, video on Redfall next? Absolutely hilarious. My goodness me, that game is absolute car crash. Beautiful tempo to that swing. Hey, good evening, Pete. Really Welcome, mate. Fairway. Thank you for joining the stream again, mate. Hope you're doing well. I haven't been on long, mate. Only been on for eight minutes. This is literally the first thing we're doing here, mate. To this par four. Oh, hello, Gamers Elite. Gamers Elite's in as well. Didn't realize you were in. Oh, sorry. There, you did say way up there. Uh, hi there. Good evening to you. Sorry, I missed that. And I missed your uh, I missed your thing up there, Nexus, as well. Good roll, good roll on the long weekend, though. Yeah, indeed, mate. Absolutely. Uh, right, what have we got? Finesse. God, I don't think we can get this finesse up there, can we? Try this, I think. Certainly makes it interesting to this wind, doesn't it? Oh, this has got to go. Man, I'll tell you what, I'm playing this mode terrible. It's it's, it's incredible, isn't it? I uh, I think I I, I think I struggle. Golf, yeah, I know this is going to sound stupid, but I think there, I struggle more just, playing uh, arcade than I do playing tour or even well, not simulation. That's a different matter, but. I, I don't know. I, I really seem to struggle playing this mode. 41. 41. It's like everything puts me off. Like the spin puts me off. The putt preview puts me off. I'm just not used to these kind of... Because you need to be like spinning your ball and boosting your ball and all that sort of stuff. And I'm just not... I'm just not used to that kind of golf, you know? This might be missing on the left. Oh no, made it. Yeah, uh, what a stroke there. And a most Uh you still got your body way up there. That's okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, right, can we get over that corner? I don't think we need to power drive, do we? Like here, I'm not too like I'm really slow at the tapping. Do you tap or do you hold it? I don't I don't know. I guess you tap. You always use the tap on it. This up the right side off the tee. One. Oh, that was a big Wait, bounce. Rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Is this a par five? Look how short this second shot's going to be. This can't be a par five. 150 yards to the hole. It now, is. From way down there, a good look at a second to the par five. That's a bit crazy. Oh, that's a beautiful swing, that is. Loving that. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, well, at least that's five under par. Well, that one had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle. There three. we go. Superb. I mean, that's six under par. So it's a pretty good Nabil score. All of us here at EA Sports, I'm that's Rich one Lerner hole out, isn't it? So Probably. For now. Right, that's that one done anyway.
So I was actually thinking tonight, I think once we get a few more in tonight, I might put a poll out. I quite fancy playing a little bit of 2K23 again and just grinding out the ranks. Uh, what do we got here? Lighthouse. Oh, this is a, this is a bit of a, this is a bit of a cowboy course. This is, is this what I'm thinking of? I'm not, I'm not, don't really like this course all that much. Firm and fast, eight to 12. Hmm. Firm and fast, eight to 12. From scenic lighthouse point here on the rugged coast. Oh no, it's Maine. not this one. This the one I'm thinking is, is the one with like crazy elevation of the world of golf. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner, and partner, you and I have called a lot of rounds of golf through the years. I know there's always something that piques your interest. How about today? Rich, every day brings you a chance, a chance yeah, to do okay. something special. And, and when we get to sit in this perch, that's what I look for. And I don't want to see the, the head going down. I want to see that every single shot wow. is a chance to do Six something 18, special. That could be a chip. 18, Maybe the chip goes eight, in. Five. Maybe it's a 30-footer that goes in. Maybe Sorry, a eight, drive five, eight, down five. the fairway. Do something special. Hmm. Not sure this is going to be enough club. spin oh my goodness me are you kidding me are you absolutely kidding me that is a ridiculous amount of spin Oh, look at this dead flat, pretty much. That is the weirdest ever putt preview, isn't it? Why is it telling us to aim to the right hand side of that hole? The dead is the putt is dead straight, look. It's literally dead straight. There is no break in this putt whatsoever. And instead of it instead of just <laughs> instead of just putting that putt preview right into the middle of the hole, it's telling us to aim to the far right. Yep, good so work. strange this game sometimes. Get away and that's in for a par. Wow, 143 feet downhill. Are you sure about this golf course? Yeah, see, I'm not a fan of these kind of, these silly golf courses. Not a fan at all. Uh, so what's that? Let's just call that, let's just call that 50 downhill. Let's just call that 50 downhill. So what is it? It's... 230, so we're going to have to hit this one, uh, 180. 180. Let's try finesse. Okay, let's go for this. Oh, I think that headwind's holding it up. I think the headwind's killed it. Oh, hello! <laughs> Do you know what? I don't. I can't be bothered with this one. I, I can't stand these Mickey Mouse courses. I, I just now can't be bothered with it. Yeah, just a little. Sp uh, what's this one? South wind. Might do. I might do this one. I might do the tour. The tour south wind instead. That'd be way more enjoyable. Now and then we'll the go on and do the simulation, Memphis, uh, the simulation round two. I think. This is EA Sports coverage of PGA Tour Right, Golf. nine under par is With the Frank Navalo number to get side, to. I'm Rich Lerner. Frank, as weekend golfers know, there's always part of your game that you're focused on. So I'll ask the question: What are you going to be looking at here today? Tee to green, Rich. I, I know people always say putting's important. I'm not going to say it's overrated, but. Tita Green, if you want to play good golf day in, day out, oh, shoot. there's greens. That's the secret. One of the best swings of the day. 
just unlucky, really. That last bounce kicked it into the first cut. Second All shot right, coming up. Let's check in for the first time with no to begin the third. Oh, what are we going to have to go to? 154 yards to the hole. Wind definitely five, hurting in his face. Six, five, seven, five, eight. We're going to go back here. One, five, eight. Oh, this could be good. It's not no, bad. I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there? But that is an excellent approach shot. Thanks. I try my best. Ah, yes. Very well read to one under now for the day. Ooh, can we get the wedge up? I don't know if we can get the wedge there. I don't know if we can get that wedge there. I think we're going to have to go with a nine instead. And two, one, four, seven. Yeah, we're going to go for... We're going to go for a finesse nine. Okay. Okay. Safely aboard. A very makeable. Wow, these greens are bird. flat. Very flat. Yeah, can't take those for granted. Good concentration there, and it's in for a birdie. What have we got? That's a hundred yards there. Do we need to be going a hundred yards? Probably not. We could probably just uh, take the three wood here and just play this one down. They call that position A. That's going to be right down the middle. Perfect spot to play this second. Middle of the fairway. 27. What have we got? 120. Uh, 122. What have we got? 50 wedge. Yeah, this will work. This will work. Oh, this won't work now. This is going to be short. Should Rich, be okay though. Eight or nine feet? I don't know about that. I mean, these greens are very, approach. very flat. Yes, a good look at that one all the way in. It's a birdie to push that score to three under for the round. Oh, thought I flicked that over to the right a little bit, but it looks like I got away with that one. Everything flowing really well right hey, now. Hey, hello, Connor. Three Welcome, buddy. Birdies in a row. Here's Thank you for joining the stream. Hope you're doing well, mate. Well. Now, note of his second from the fairway. I mean, a little bit quiet to tonight, hole. mate. I've got a little and bit of a headache, so... Um, consecutive birdies. It's go time. Yeah, I wanted to stream. I wanted to play some golf, but yeah, I've got a bit of a, bit of a headache about me tonight, mate, so... It's not going to be high energy here tonight, unfortunately, I don't think. Uh, 159... Can we get this up? Should be able to get this up. Ooh. Let's go to the 8 iron finesse. That will be much better. We got 152, isn't it? 160. 59. Wow, look at the wind moving around up there. I do like the gusts. I think the gusts are really cool, but it can play absolute havoc with your your alignment. Here we go. Oh, this is a shot. Oh, stay there, stay there, stay there. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green. Um, this shot. is um south wind. Ten foot putt left. I think it is. Um, yeah, south wind. TPC south wind. Very, very easy greens here. Every single green we've been on so far, it's been like this. It's been very, very flat. Not much in it at oh, all. Oh, what a putt there, right down Beale Street, and that is in. So this for is the um, this is the Tour Pro Daily, um, Connor. Hey, Doug, here he is. Welcome, mate. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here's my super chatter. <laughs> uh, oh my word! Look at this. This is tempting, isn't it? 
look where the flag is. But look what look what club we're having to hit. Look what club we're having to hit here. There is no way I can get a four a, a three iron sitting on that green, is there? Like softly. No way is there. Um we could try a 6, 12, 18, 7, 14, 21, 7. I mean, that will land there. So we could actually, we could actually play. Where's, where's the four iron going? We could actually play the four iron here. And hopefully we, we hit that front fringe. But we're going to play out to, we're going to play out to the, oh, do you know what? Do you know what? We're just going to brave it. We're going to brave it. Here we go. Oh, I could have done without the one percent under. Well, this doesn't go, look promising. go, go! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh that is no! Characteristic mistake in what has been a uh, full of where's the drop zone? Ball offline, off the tee, and into the water. I, I was trying to, I was okay, trying to so get a, uh, drop, I was trying to get a fast. Stroke, this will be I was trying to read it, and unfortunately, I didn't. I, I completely did the opposite. So yeah, that that was not a great shot, was it, chat? That was really poor. So we're in a bit of trouble now. Stay. Stay. What a nice shot. Right on the green and a pretty easy plot on the way. Thanks. Yeah, that's a good escape right there. Oh, that's the completely team, ruined the round, hasn't it? it? We had a lovely little run going then. Shot. Lovely little run. That's a shame. Still, it is what it is. Oh my goodness me. Where am I going with that swing? Where is this finishing? How have we got away with that? Look at that silly little line down the bottom of that no shot stick. That Where did that away. come from? <laughs> From the fairway, Noda, this is. That didn't even feel that bad. That was a weird one. The, hole. the pin is in the front right part of the green. So 114, 117. Okay, let's try this. I'm sure we're going to get a little bit of backspin here. Oh no, I hit the. Oh, I didn't go finesse. This is the sand wedge. It might spin back though. It should spin back a bit. Oh, we need to slow one. down. Slow down. Slow wrong. down, ball. Ooh. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green. Uh, you're watching Man City so West Ham. What's the score, uh, Connor? Hmm. I think it should be okay. Yes. Deal, deal. Oh, Only just kicked off, is it? Right 8 o'clock kickoff? 7.45. We need... We really need a big boy... Big boy uh, drive now, don't we? Oh, that might be okay. It's a bit wiggly. Might be okay. Yes, fine. We could do with the... We really need the eagle here. He just keeps motoring right along the Another good tee shot right there. Really could do with the eagle. 345, nice. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Big tee shot here at the 16th. Now trying to get this ball close to the widest section of the green sitting in the back. 68, 175. Do you know what? This might be okay. This is going to be okay, I think. Oh, that is beautiful. That is so nice. It's just got to go. Just got to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We love that. Got every bit of that. Threw it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Lovely. Oh, yeah. I mean, some days you just oh, I can't, can't believe we put it in the water for that day. stupid par what three. There, as he'll walk away with an eagle. That's so annoying. We would have been, we would have been absolutely on it now. Oh, that is so annoying. 
even if we parred it, we'd be in, we'd be looking at going top. I'm okay with that in there. I'm not not bothered Smoked about that. that shot. First cut is always. Uh, I finished in the first cut. Um, All right, so just a step or two what soccer team do you like? Uh, Plymouth Argyle. Plymouth Argyle, mate. Got promoted this year from the uh, the first division, so we're up into the championship. We're currently top. One game to go now. Uh, way to Port Vale, last game of the season. Ipswich are one point behind. Uh, we've both got promoted. We've both gone up automatically. There's no way Sheffield Wednesday, who are in third, can, um, can catch us. So it's now a shoot-off between ourselves and Ipswich. To see who's going to go up as champions. Uh, so it's been a heck of a season. 98 points we've got. One more win. We get 101 points. It's absolutely mental. It's been a heck of a division. The uh, the first division this year. Alright. Uh, 5-2. Yeah, this might be okay. 9-iron. Nine, nine. It's, go it's going to jump a little bit forward, I think. Oh, look at that. Look at... Oh, my word. Yes. Oh, what a beautiful... It's well, not I very often you get a straight shot like and you I perfect, perfect it. There, I, don't, I don't think I've ever actually done that, I'll be honest with you. Chance I've never now. got all three Another perfect. Three. That might be the first shot ever. That is the honest truth. Yes. Yes. Very uh, you're a Man United fan. One. They've they've come out. They've, they've done quite well, haven't they? They've kind of come up from nowhere, really, because they were looking really poor, really poor at the start of the season. Oh, I'm so annoyed we got that bogey. So annoyed we got that bogey. Ah, uh, you see a lot of blue standing on that tee box. Yeah, uh, who are you playing tomorrow? Here at 18. From the fairway. Let's go to Noda. Ball in the fairway on the finishing hole is a great first step, but still got to take on the water and control your distance to take advantage of that tee shot. Good chance at one. Uh, that was the part. Oh, it's going to be right to left, I think. Good shot when it left the club yeah. face. What's that? Eight or nine feet. Excellent shot. Unbelievable. If we didn't, if we didn't, yeah, <laughs> if we hadn't have got that bogey, we could have well went right ten under par. To the round here today. Well, uh, uh, to Alongside be honest, the, the birdie would have been very, very hard on that par three. It would have been very hard because that was a really, really now. tricky pin position. But we would have definitely been nine under par. Uh, currently sixth. Not too bad. That's not too bad. It's a round that could have been. Brighton. <sighs> Tell you what, Brighton, Brighton are a team. Was it at Brighton or was it at uh, your, your place? Brighton is so impressive though. They just keep knocking down the big boys. If it's if it's at Brighton, it's that's going to be a tough game. That will be a tough game. Right, let's see if we can get somebody here for competitive. It's at Brighton. Cool, I'll tell you what. Ah, I'll tell you what, that's going to be tough for you lot. I fancy Brighton there, mate. But I honestly do. It's incredible, isn't it? Like, to see Brighton, a team like Brighton, so far up the premiership table. And they keep doing it week in, week eight. They keep finding these results. They keep battering teams. I mean, 6-0 last week. <laughs> They've got no right to be that good. 
and when you when you say like Brighton, but they are they are a fantastic, fantastic team and a well run club. Right, Lil Willis is that Willis or is that V? That's that's double V, isn't it? V, v Willis. Obviously meant to be Willis, but. Right, we're playing TPC 2-1 United, no problems. You would say that. You're a Man United fan. As a neutral, I can look at it as a as a neutral standpoint. And Brighton are smashing everybody. Of the world of golf brings Tell you, it's going to be tough. TPC Boston in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for this edition of PGA Tour Golf. Love this course. Learner, One of my favorite courses. In the booth by Frank Navalo. Frank does nothing like it. Early tea time to get the adrenaline flowing. Wow, and 16 two, wind. The golf course oh. is perfect. Ouch. Know, less divots. Ouch. Um, you don't see any sort of marks on the green. Greens are going to putt beautifully. <laughs> oh, my so, word. So, you know, a, That's a shocker. It's a little bit softer. It's got the moisture from I've had a couple night. of them tonight. Um, it's, and also, you know, when they've cut the golf course, there's that really <sighs> green, fresh smell. Like it's brand new. So we're just going to get in a quick nine right, here. What have we got? Let's Fifteen into our face. At the par Yikes! Hole. Wow! Look at the wind. I've, I've never. I don't think I've ever seen the wind this high. That that went up to eighteen mile an hour wind. Then. Oh, this is this is gonna this is gonna be a nightmare to judge. It's it's gusting all over the place as well. It's actually going to come backwards. I tell you what, we'll take that. Uh, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really. Outside chance for Bertie. That's actually uh, not a bad, uh, not a bad result there. I'm gonna take that. Turn left now. Left. Yes. Oh, there's the surgeon's touch right there. Well done to run that in for a birdie. I'll tell you what, this is going to be a round. If these winds are kicking up to 18 miles an hour, wow. Because it's not just the wind, it's it's the gust as well. Because the gust is going to be so, it's going to be so, there's going to be so much variation in which way it gusts. So you might line your shots up and then it'll gust and you're going to be looking at something that's just going to be just so far away from where you sort of, you pictured it. So what do we got? Four iron. We just want to land this on the front of the green, I reckon. 221. I don't know. I might just see if I can land this on the front of the green. Five iron. Come on. Ah, oh, All we needed was just a little bit more. Just onto that front of that green. That wind... Would have took that shot all the way to the back. That was so close to being so, so good. Oh, get in! Get in, you all! <laughs> now, that's a great shot, Pete. <laughs> oh, boy. That is filthy. That is absolutely filthy. Ah, cheers, Gamers Elite. Cheers, Pete. <laughs> that is crazy when a shot like that drops, isn't it? Can't believe that. I thought his feet were going to get in the way. It looked like he was going to stop it. That one going to split the middle. Maybe get a little roll out as well. That is a I'm going to have to get that up on a short, I think. That was such a shot. Oh, my word. Look at this. This is a bit filthy. Do you know what? I'm actually, I'm actually going to purposely put this into that bunker. Because, yeah, we'll just take par here. We'll just take par. Oh, I'm a little bit right. Oh, okay. Okay, we've actually got a chance of a chip in here. That's actually not a bad result there. Can we chip this? Oh, it's going to be hard though, isn't it? We haven't really got a lot of green to work with. I think the spinner is going to be the shot, isn't it?
Nope, it's gone left. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, we're going to have to be careful now. Uh, the man you, the man you game is on the TV this is tomorrow. An 11 foot okay. putt. Is that BT? We might actually drop one here. One, three. Yeah, we might actually drop a shot here. Need a good putt. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Center oh, of the hole. Right <laughs> yes. A more break to it I love the pun in this game now. Putting is so good now in this go game. Par. You can actually trust what you see that the ball is going to do. Uh, it's on Sky, is it? Oh, okay. Wow. Sky have got a game on a Thursday night? That's a bit Just crazy. What you want at this point in the round, you're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the that's, club that's, uh, that's what they did. That's Sky have a, a, a premiership game on, on, a, on a Thursday. It's a really strange night as well, isn't it, to have one? Uh, what have we got? A seven iron. One eight. We got left? One eight four. One nine five. Yeah, this will be all right. Just play middle of the green and just let this ball sort of roll up to the hole. And this is looking really good. Oh, that is so beautiful. That is a thing of beauty, that just think is. Think about it. You've you got to cover <laughs> nearly two football fields of distance and get it inside five feet. You wouldn't think that's possible. Wow. Only they could all be that wow. Very well played Who'd have thought I'd play 15, 18 bird. mile an hour wins this good so far? This is crazy. It's all the catch up because of the World Cup and the games in the hand. Yeah, true, 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 true. Oh my word, he's having a he's had a go at that. He's had a real go at that. Thank you, Games Elite. Yeah, I'm so I've actually surprised myself here so far, I'm not going to lie. It's one thing playing good shots at close when it's like low wind, but when you're talking about 15 and 18 mile an hour winds, that's, that's yeah, that's crazy. Uh, right, what have we got here? We don't actually need to do anything with this because the wind's going to take this for us. Um, I mean, we could probably bend it around the corner a little bit, maybe. Let's try bending it around the corner. Oh, that's good. That's a good shot. Come on, keep coming left. Keep coming left. Keep coming left. Keep coming left. Left. Go left. Oh, did it get through? Well, that we in, yes, we're in the first cut. cut. It's going to be a little bit harder to spin it from there with a little bit of grass around the ball, but uh, still not too bad. Uh, I hope you get up to the Premier League so Man United can send you back down. <laughs> what, Plymouth? What, go up and then go up again? Can't see it somehow. Uh, right, what have we got here? 20... 16... 5... We'll be lucky if we, uh... We'll be lucky if we stay up next year. It's a massive jump up from the first division to the championship. Huge jump. I don't think that's going to be enough. Oh, this is this is a difficult one to work out. I'm gonna have to rush a shot a little bit. Oh, hang on. I might be okay. might be okay. Yeah, it's okay. We'll take the we'll take the par here. Gonna have to be a little Nine. careful with this one. It's for birdie. Right, let's just lag this one up. We've only got 36 seconds left on the shot clock, so we just need to sort of do this quickly. That's all he wanted to do there. Yeah, it's touch. I and mean, when you think from that distance, chances of making are, uh, are almost none. So to guarantee a two putt, well done. There we go. So this will be a par, and he'll remain at minus three. It's going to be very pleasing, Connor, when Brighton do you tomorrow night and you come on the stream the night after and then I can turn around and say, told you so, my boy. 
<laughs> and I'll be waiting for it if it goes the other way as well. Oh dear. Oh, he's falling for that as well. Mm, that ball went wow. straight down into the heavy rough. Look at the state of this rough. Gotta be careful See, to this is what I don't like here. about this game. He lines up look, at that, look at how long that rough is. It's heavy rough, but yet we still get an 86 to 94% lie, which is still very generous, isn't it, for, for heavy rough? Very generous. What are we playing now? One five nine, one eight one. That ain't gonna be enough. Six iron. Obviously, the more we go, that the worse the lie gets. Though. Let's try to just get this up on the green. Yeah, get it on the green. We're on the green, are we? Just about. And that ball looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. Come on, it's going to start turning right. It's going to start turning right. Come on, go right. Go right. Oh, that's not a bad oh. effort. Oh, that nearly went in. That's a touch of class right there. Very good effort. Don't look at that far, do we? What am I doing? Okay, that one cleaned up without any issue, and that is a par. All right, what's the score? It's three under plus one. Oh, my word. I mean, that couldn't be much harder, could it? Downhill, wind behind, pin on the front. <laughs> so 177 take off 5 Oh my goodness me this is a shot This one has a chance to be close. I just want it to be long there. Just want it to be long. We do have the backstop here, as you can see. So we'll bring it back down. Tell you what, I've enjoyed watching this display all day long. We hear the phrase in football, ball control. Uh, it applies to what we've seen here from this player. That is an outstanding display of ball control. Oh, yes. what a birdie well that is. Done. It's a birdie. What a birdie that is. Four under now on the day. What a perfect wind. This is like a golden wind for this tee shot. Absolute golden wind. Could not be better than that. That tee shot couldn't be better than that either. Come on. Okay, this 17th is a tricky fairway to hit, but that is going to wind up fine. From well down the fairway, this a bit of a tricky distance for his second. Oh, wow, we're going to have to go... I think we're going to have to play finesse. Uh, we haven't got anything less than that, have we? Oh, no, 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 no. We could try... This is going to spin so much, this ball. Right, I'm playing this to get a load of backspin on this ball. We need loads and loads of backspin. We're not going to get it, are we? How come that went... That's... Oh, yeah, we're not going to get loads of backspin, are we? Because okay. we like literally the pulled button, the, the shot stick the all the way back. We'll get your attention. Uh, one inch above 14 feet... Oh, I think he's just chipped in. Lovely chip. Good chip in, buddy. Nope, low side. Yeah, I thought I was going to be. Well, that'll wind up a par, and it'll keep him at four under. Whew. Wow. <laughs> yep, 
Yes. Shot. Be good. Stay out of that rough. Stay out the first cut. Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Have a tough one. Just a touch more. We just needed just a touch more. The tiniest, uh, tiniest more. Green is well protected. That's if we landed up on that green, that would have been perfect. For a reason. Now, with some nifty sand play, we're looking at four. Oh, that's poor. That's poor. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. Yeah, the good play continues now to five under on the day. Cool. Take that. That's a good round. Pretty good. Happy with that. Really tough conditions. Quite surprised that, actually. I don't think I've ever seen 18 mile an hour winds in this game yet. That's the first time I've ever seen that. That tends to be the theme for these uh, these online rounds. Though. The wind always tends to be um, pretty strong. But just not that strong. <laughs> well, Frank, as they say up here in New England, that wraps up another wicked good round. Wicked yeah, good just round. One of the best golf courses up in New England area. Yeah, it's a great golf course. And uh, it was the best. Really good golf course. All right, what do we get? We've got 10,000, almost 10,000 XP. 34,000 to go for a uh, level up. Let's see if we can get another one quickly. Oh, look at this, straight in. Nice. Look at that. How, how can somebody find 224 matches in, in a mode that only ever gives you one opponent to play against? Oh, no. This is the worst course Sports in the game. And the PGA Tour. So proud to bring you continuing coverage of the world of golf. Hello again and welcome, Rich Lerner. Pleased to be joined by Frank Navalo. Frank, late tea time here this evening. We should have... Here we go again. Let's strong wind again. Look. Tell me what you're going to be watching for today. Just the round developing, Rich, is is the big thing. You know, you've seen how the golf course can play during the course of the day. Hey, uh, Mike on the bank. Like Hello, too. mate. You know, if we get a good afternoon this afternoon, that flag is just going to stick out. Yeah, all's I good here, my friend. Tremendous. All's good here. So nine holes is the choice here today. Let's get things started here at the par four first. Uh, things would be better if this ball ever decided to stop for me. That's going to roll all the way back to the tee in a minute. So we've done the yeah, um, we've done the tour rounds and we've done the uh, the online rounds. Second shot now. It has to be um, We just um, we just played uh, somebody you don't want to over club. Um, in competitive, and we got the first win of the evening. Eighteen mile an hour wins at TPC Boston. We had. Can you believe that? 
Absolutely bonkers. How did they drive the ball that far up the uh that far up the fairway? Oh, look at these soft greens. That's well played. And now a good look at Birdie. Nota Begay is on the ground for us at the first green. It's not even gonna move, is it? It's dead straight. Here. I see almost no break. Oh yes, that's the right line, and it's in for a birdie. Well done. Right. Hmm. Oh my word. This is, see, I'm, not, I'm just not a fan of this course. This is going to be crazy. Uh. Is this going to be enough? Is this going to be enough to get us there? Probably not. No, that's not enough to get us there. No way. Um. Should be okay. Come on. No. Oh, we just needed just a little bit more. Looking to splash this softly onto the green. That is a good looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good oh, place. Oh, nice. He got his, uh, just a few feet he got his bird there. Okay, Did he chip that in? Off for a par. I didn't see if he was on the green there. <laughs> no problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. All right, 270 to the hole. Oh, look at the pin right at the back. Wow. Oh, my word. Oh, my. Do you see how quickly that three iron went up then? I know it was a power approach, but. Oh, did I really miss that left? Ugh. You gotta be landing on these greens because look how flat these greens are. There is nothing in these greens at all. Ah. Shouldn't be much in this for Birdie. Okay, good Needed work. the eagle there, didn't we? Green, and that's how you walk away with a birdie here at the par five. Yeah, he's got it. You just got to find the greens because they're, they're completely flat. Can't drive it much better than that. That's the quick pickup of the tee right down the middle. Now, from just under a hundred yards, a stare down his second. Might be able to putt that. Hmm. Oh, I was trying to take all the break out of that. That's annoying. Twelve feet still to go.
Mm -hmm. That one looked in right from the start. He's able to slide that in for his par. Well done. Yeah, it's not. It's, I don't really. I don't like this course. It's a. It's a fantasy course, I think, from an old. Um, from an old Tiger game. Why is um? Why is his character not showing up here? Normally, you can see the characters, can't you? But I can't actually see his uh, his player, which is a bit strange. That's a fairly decent break. Ball managing to finish up in the first cut as opposed to the rough. The Ten. only thing really to worry about now is whether the ball spins or not. Seven. Seven. Stop gusting wind. Oh, perfect. Boom. That's better. Stay. Oh, no love. No love. Oh, but it does look flat again, though, doesn't it? Mind you, it all depends if it's flat from the fringe, doesn't it? No, it's 2.1 below. That's a shame, isn't it? I don't know if this is... I don't know how much this is going to move. If only we stayed on that green, we would have been laughing. Absolutely laughing, I tell you. I think he's chipping out on the green, isn't he? Oh, we've got it. Yes, yeah, smart play from that distance. Just use the putter to make sure you get the line. And this one goes down for a birdie. Six iron. Five. Seven. That one, safely on the putting surface. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Now this demands a classy touch. There's not a lot of movement in it, but it will be quick. Yeah, it will be quick, very quick. So there's not much in this, but it's just a little bit. I don't understand how we're not seeing his character. Something doesn't look quite right here. Because, like, he missed that putt because his tracer went long, but it seems to think that he hold out. Oh, what a putt. Oh, that is a picture of class <laughs> right there. A tee shot on the green, and then a long putt goes down for birdie. Thank you. And that will do just fine. Now from just under a hundred yards. Oh my we'll goodness. How are we meant to second. how are we meant to control the spin here? The pin is right on the back. Oh, that wind's gusting all over the place. Oh, there's no way to stop that ball on that pin, is there, really? Oh, that is harsh, man. That is that is so unfortunate. No, that's a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light situation from that distance seven, and six, now far seven. from the best shot I've seen today. Yeah, same things happened to him, look. I might actually wait for him to putt. 
and see if I can learn something from his line. He's probably going to do the same for me, though. Hmm. 40 seconds. Oh, he tried. He tried chipping it. He tried pitching it. Look, he pitched it from the uh, from the green. You see that? Oh, boom! Get oh, in! That just when you thought this couldn't get that better. That is wild. That goes in from long distance. That is wild. What a putt that is! Come on. Could it be a swing here? I don't know. It's, his his um his ball trace is doing some weird stuff. One minute it shows him off the green. Next minute it shows him on the green. Plus, we're not seeing his, uh, we're not seeing his character. Something doesn't look right here to me. Cheers, Pete. Wait, one. Oh, I've underswung it. Should be okay, though. Stay. Oh, what a lovely golf shot. That's going to be on the putting surface and a birdie look straight ahead. Now they What a shot that another was. Another birdie. Yeah, walk that one right in. That's good putt. And it's in for a birdie. See like where is he? Like he's not on the green there. He's not on the green. His character's not showing. He's in the bunker. He's off the green. Oh, he's missed it. We've taken the lead then. Come on. He is a ghost player. Never seen that before. Right, last hole. Come on, be good to me. Oh, yeah, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, we've just yeah, got to... <laughs> nice swing and the result is... Well, we've got to aim for eagle. Because we've got to think he's going to eagle it. We have to think he's going to eagle this hole. So we need to make sure we get on this green. So we are 27, 9, 18, 27. So we need to add on 9 to that number. 2, 3, 1. So that's, two, say, call that 240, but then take off 10. I reckon we actually need to hit this 230, you know? Because that wind's going to help us out quite a bit. Oh, look at that. He hit, he hit, it looks like he hit the green. Looks like he hit the bunker and, and jumped out of the bunker. Like that. That's weird, isn't it? I like it. I like it a lot. He's going to love it if he can get out of here with the three, and that's a possibility. Oof. Right, we need another strong putt now. We need another real strong putt. Yeah, he's got his eagle, look. He got his eagle, so this to draw. I'm just trying to visualize this part a little bit here. Oh, I've underswung it. Oh, get oh, in, boy! Get in, get in boys! Get in! Come on! Here at the at Come on! We played a, about a 700 yard par That's what five, I'm talking about. 600 yard par four. Some really demanding par threes. That this was, was awesome. Enjoyable and challenging. What a great round time. that was. Challenging uh, and what a round. Yeah, I tell you what, I had some monster putts in there, didn't I? I? Had some crazy putts in there. Uh, cheers, Pete. That what a turnaround that was. We were two down after like what four holes.
and then uh, and then turned it around. Put the pressure on, didn't we? That was epic. What was he called? Adapt Bev. I reckon he was. Oh, he was second. In, he was second in the world. Like there he was. Take a loss, my friend. Sit down. <sighs> Love it. Love it, Pete. We're playing him again. And Biker... Biker won... Oh, he's... He, he's decided he doesn't want to play me. What a chicken. What a chicken. I beat him once, look. Can't have, him, can't have me ruining his record. <laughs> Ah, uh, deary me. Just when just when you find a great player to play against, you beat them once and then they chicken out. They don't want to play you again. Hey, Magnus, welcome, buddy. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. We've just had an an epic few games here, buddy. EA just had a Sports blinding game the there. Golf wow, what a game. The heartland of America and the nine-hole wonder that is top of the rock golf course in southern Missouri. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner. Frank, this is a different kind of field. Oh, look at the winds again. Normally cover. Every All single round is like top of the rock. crazy, the crazy holes. winds. How would you attack a course like this? You've just got to iron the heck out of it, really, because, okay. you know, par threes, the majority of the time, you're just hitting an iron off the tee, and you, know, you can be a little blasé, but every time you get to put a, a, a ball on a tee, you have the best possible lie, right? And with an iron, with well, a chance to be aggressive. And, of course, you're going to get nine cracks at it. So, see how many twos you can make. Oh, sit down, Paul. Oh, I misjudged that one. I misjudged that one. too much spice on that one. That flies the green, and he'll be chipping out of the rough. Oh, come on. I can't even see where I'm going. Ooh, two good chip shots there. I think you'll be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Uh, I haven't had the time yeah, to see your latest streams. Uh, writing my bachelor thesis. Ooh, mate. Check you out. What's the subject? Twenty-five. 25, 105 we reckons we probably need to hit this. I'm going to go 108 to make sure we... I'm going to go 110 just to make sure we get behind the pin. Oh, I can't see the arc. Shipping. Go on, son. Oh, that's scary, isn't it? And I think he was a little wary of hitting the ball too far there. And then he winds up leaving it short. I can't believe these wins we're getting tonight. This is bonkers. <clears throat> if we don't find the green, we're not going to make birdie, are we? Cleans that up in the hole. Yeah, good luck, Magnus. Fair play to you, mate. Fair play to you. And do not apologize. Uh, I'm not, not, I know you didn't there, but that's life is way more important, mate, than uh, and watching me on stream, buddy. That's for sure. Way more important. Mm. Oh, mate, these winds are killing me. Nope. That's pretty much coming back to me. <laughs> and that one yeah, I bet, Magnus. Green, I bet. Not I really bet. Either. Sitting up in the short grass. <sighs> I 
God, this is difficult, isn't it? This is harder than the last round. At least with the last round, um, you didn't have the massive elevation changes. Although there were still elevation changes for sure, but not to the extent of uh, of these at top of the rock. Come on, come on, get on it, get on it. Okay, we found the green, finally. Uh, it took us four holes right to get there, the the but green. we found the green, finally. Turn two, Nota Begay the third for this look at birdie. Yeah, it's just very slightly up the hill. I don't think it's going to move more than a ball or so to the right. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, ah, nearly had it. Just going to wander a foot or so by. Uh, you're out here playing golf in a storm. Oh, my goodness, mate. That's not not really the thing you want to be doing, mate, when you're. Uh, when you got metal items in your hand. <laughs> be careful, mate, please. <laughs> Hopefully the graphite clubs. This is really tough, isn't it? See now, how how is it saying? How is it saying that 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 pin is one forty two? It's not one forty two because my club does one twenty two, and that's right there, look. So it's not one forty two, is it? It's one twenty two. Okay, that's going to end up right in the middle of the green. Oh. <laughs> this will be a 14-foot putt. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought, I thought you meant yourself. Oh, that was a close putt. I thought, my goodness, he's dedicated to be playing golf in a storm and watching me on his phone. <laughs> Oh, did got it there, but not quite on target. How did you not? How did you not turn the other way? I tell you what, I'm I'm getting birdie chances here. I'm just not okay, finding no my putting in this one. Putting was absolutely outstanding last round, wasn't it? And now it's completely gone to pieces. Uh, what have we got? Uh, see again. Why is it saying the flag is 145? But yet. My club is saying 130. I don't understand it. I don't, I don't understand this. I really don't understand what's happening here. I can't work out what, what my number's meant to be. This might be short in the water. I don't, I don't understand what my, my numbers are meant to be here. Okay, mm. can't take putts that length for granted, but that's in for a par. I don't, I really don't understand what's going on. 
Is it always like this when you get elevation changes? On because it's 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 out. Is is my yardage of this club working out the elevation change or something? Because this is weird. I've never seen it do this before. can't work this out. It's, it's completely thrown me. This has completely thrown me what this is doing. In an awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out. Let the ball run towards the flag. It's like something. It's like something's being calculated oh, for me here, and, and I don't know why it's doing it. It's, it, it's almost like it's working out good the, to the elevation change, so and I don't understand why it's doing that on the uh, thingy. Steady start as he remains even on this Just never, I've side. never seen that because, like here, it's like showing my my it's showing my seven iron is doing one eight nine, but the pin is two hundred and seven. Is that telling me that I need to go one eight? I am so confused, but guys. I just cannot trust any yardage now. Like, I can't work this out. I cannot work this that out. one going to wind up smack dab in the middle of the green. Nine feet remaining here for birdie. Ah, the line. Perfect there. And that's in for a birdie. Yeah, I've never seen this, Pete. It's, I've, in all the rounds, all the courses I've played, I've never seen it do this. So, God knows what's happening. It's almost like it's working something out for me. Because, look, <clears throat> if it's saying 189, it's 32 downhill. But uh, my club is like 162. <coughs> my nine iron's on 162. But, and then it reckons it's one. Reckons it's one. Hang on, yeah, look, it's one eight two to the back of the green. So how can it be one eight nine to the flag? This is the weirdest shot I've seen ever. So weird. Oh, get in. Get in. Oh, my word. I thought I had that. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. I in thought I had that. Gremlins. Yeah, the there's something and going on that here. Will finish out a round of oh, man. That, that was tough. Par. That was really tough. And that will made, finish off a it, round it, made, it was made tough because of to what, the, what the yardage was telling threes, me. That, was, that completely thrown me. All my maths, all my yardages 26. were completely out. Well, we managed to get the win. <laughs> we got the win. Right. I think we've done enough of that now. So we've got two wins there on competitive. Let's go and do this simulation round tonight. And then what are we? We've got 14,000 points to get to the next level. So once we do the career, we're going to level up as well, the career round. So let's jump into our simulation playthrough, guys. So let's see where we are. I think we're currently tied at the top. Uh, let's have a look at the leaderboard. Yeah, we're tied at the top. Adam Long, Jordan Spieth, Tyrrell Hatton. Okay, so we've got some different names up the top of the leaderboard now, which is pretty cool. Right, let's go. Tricky, tricky Riviera. I mean, we had so many putts that just missed on the edge. EA Sports. 
and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for right. the FedEx Cup. From oh, I should have had a look at what the wind was. Just west of Los it's probably going to be three to five wind again, isn't it? Do you know what? Let, let's um, Genesis Invitational. let's quit out, Things starting save round, because I forgot to have a look what the course conditions were. And EA being EA, they haven't put a a menu in there where you can check the course conditions. So you have to kind of get them here. So what have we got? It's four to seven, and then it's firm and fast. Four to seven, firm and fast. Okay. Oh, my head's killing me. EA Sports Ugh. and the PGA Tour. This is probably going to be it for me tonight. Now I think I'll, after this one. Race for the FedEx Cup. From fabled Riviera Country Club just west of Los Angeles. Right, 286. Second round coverage of the Genesis yeah, Invitation. Be okay. well, I might short this one a little bit. We yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days. Let's just stop that one early. Because I don't want to run out of fairway here. Friday. We've got a tie at the top at six under par. Oh, yeah. That's really yeah, soft fairways as well. Just fine. That fairway runs out fairly quickly, but this is right where you want to be. Hmm. So what are we? Two twenty-one, probably about two. T wow, probably around about two fifteen to get over that bunker. Two fifteen. Yeah, we just need to go the full distance, don't we? Here. Oh, what a swing! Beautiful. I don't mind if it goes long. I was trying to get back on for us, look. That right. So well done. Definitely going to have to be a case of lag in this part down now. I mean, look at this. 47 feet. Uh, I reckon that's going to be... I reckon we're going to have to play about 40, 39. And then what are we looking at? We're, we're one degree above, so it's going to be kind of... One, two, three. We're 40 feet away, so I'm going to go... I'm going to go back here. That's all right. That's all right. Right around six feet here for birdie. 1.2 below. So it's going to move to the right. Get him. Okay, yeah, we're off to a birdie that's start. Good. That's what we've got it's to do. Just make sure we birdie the par one. fives, and then and pick up anything from the, the uh, spot on the from the other ones that we can get, basically. Friday. Right now, one of the hardest holes in golf. Let's just find this fairway. That's the first uh, first task. Oh, stay in. Stay in. Oh, stay in. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a horrible bounce. And that's going to miss the fairway. So after the birdie at one, he'll need to play his second at two from the rough. That shouldn't be too bad where he is. Uh, he should have a decent five. look at the green. Yeah. I mean, it's, I know it's saying we're an 88 to 97% lie, but I'm just going to add, I'm just going to think that's 97% basically. I'm not really going to pay too much attention to that now we do have the wind and it is uphill oh that's over oh Go on. Oh. Oh, is that any good? Perfect. That was tracking pretty well, too. That could have gone in for the same price. That, that was close, wasn't it? Four par here at the second. Right, and the lead is... I've just teed off as well. One shot lead. 
Okay, what have we got here? Up next week, we start the 280 to that corner. It is downhill, so we should be able to get over that corner. Bay Hill for the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Leading up to that unofficial fifth major, the players at TPC Sawgrass. And a welcome back to Bermuda Oh, Grass what a beautiful a totally drive. What a smack that is. So why is that oh, fairway incredibly fairway soft, yet the other one is like... The other one ran out quite a bit. 107. Right here as he readies his second. 56. We're downhill. I don't think that's going to be much downhill. So, and it's 4-7 to seven wind, isn't it? So... If we say 95... That gives us an extra 10. That's nice. That is nice. Rich, is that eight or nine feet? I don't know about that, but right, it is a level. I mean, it does look level, this, doesn't it? Although it does look a little bit off the right, actually. It, it does look like that might be coming off right. That, that grid up there, just in front of the hole, looks that, like that's moving to the left to me. That looks as if it's dropping down to the left. But it reckons it's level at my feet. I'm going to go right edge. And hit it hard. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what. Nicely it's a good done. job I did move it to the right because I was right. That, yeah, that putt was going left. For today's round and uh, when I played the Genesis, the I had kind of the same thing with the fairways. Whenever the tees were elevated, it just stopped dead in the fairway. Yeah, I mean, to some degree, they kind of should, shouldn't they? It, you know, if you're hitting a high ball, which is dropping onto a fairway. But it was just that the one before that, it, it rolled. It bounced and it rolled, you know, on that tight par four, the, uh, the second. But yeah, definitely, it definitely happens here more than uh, more than any other any other course. I don't want to knock down, do I? I want to finesse. Uh, what's going on here? Please, game. So we need to la we need to land this 224. We need to land this 224. We're downhill. We got the wind. 209. Where's 209? Is that going to be enough? I reckon this might be. We need to go up to the right and let the the elevation, sorry, the contours of the green, bring it down to the flag. Oh, that's a good swing. Come on. Have we got the number? We need one good bounce on that fringe. One good bounce. Oh, it just literally just took a, just a little bit too much off of it. I just needed the one nice bounce onto the green and it sort of bounced in and stayed in the fringe, unfortunately. Five. Well, there is so a slope what have we got that you here? need 25. to take into consideration. It's going to break down the slope a little from right to left. Not an easy one. Right, we know very well this green goes right to left, don't we? So we're going to go back here. Very unlikely we're going to get a birdie here. So let's just lag a par putt. Stop, ball. Stop. That one just going to sneak on by. Okay, uh, oh, Javel's in. So I tried the so no beads and the above four. below seems and off at times. Am I missing something? Also, when moving advantage. the arrow around the above feels weird. Can you explain how you use it? Yeah. So the so the above and the below Javo, it only tells you what the ball is doing at your feet. It doesn't tell you what the putt is doing all the way to the hole. So you might be 20 feet away in the immediate area by your foot is what the point seven point eight two degrees three degrees below or below 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 or above explains for the rest of the 19 feet could be doing absolutely anything so you need you need to kind of you need to look at the lie of the land you need to kind of look closely to see you know where the bunkers are where the green is shaped look at the like the contours of the green if it's coming from maybe like a sloped on the right or sloped on the left just to give you a good idea of what the putt's doing and um, what about the color line so the color so if it's like if it says it's a two degrees below your feet and it's dark blue then you know very well that if you've got dark blue grids all the way to the hole it's going to consistently be two degrees below for the rest of the of the putt 
Now, if it was if it was going white, if it was going lighter in colour, then it as it goes towards the hole, it's going less. So the break is going to be less. So it might start off two degrees, and then it will generally start tailing off. It might even be one degree. It might even be 0.5 degrees. So initially, the ball is going to move a lot left to right, and then it's going to gradually move less and less and less and less all the way to the hole. That's that's what the colours um, signify. Now it, it doesn't matter if it's above or below um, the colour. That's just the ex the extent of the break, basically. If that makes sense. I don't think we can get this over, can we? I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a strong enough wind. Ah, oh, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Now, where's that bank? Bank's over there, isn't it? So I don't think we've got much fear of going three seven four. Come on, come on, come on, go, go! Oh, that's lovely. That's wonderful. No, it, it just it just signifies it just signifies the, the extent of the slope. So, so the obviously, kick, if you had a two degree four. below or a two degree above, or maybe a three degree above, or a three degree below, it would be dark blue. The more the break at the feet, you know, the, the bigger the elevation change can be either left to right or right to left, it will be a darker color. So that would be the dark blue. So that's where you would read if it's above or below, and then you'd adjust your, your aiming marker to suit. But then you have to think about the remaining colors. Um, do they start tailing off into like a, a turquoisey blue, a whitish color, a grayish color? Obviously, that that break is then becoming lesser towards the hole. So you just need to kind of visualize the putt. Uh, cheers, Pete. Thank you for dropping in, my friend. Good to have you here, mate. Good for the uh, good for the company. Hope you've enjoyed the rounds tonight, mate. Glad you saw that epic nine under par against uh, second in the world as well. That was a good one to watch. That was a real good one to watch. Right, so it's down here and we got the wind. I'm going to go 91. This might be short, but... I'm going to go like a little bit of red. Come on, get up. Ah... <clears throat> in golf, you know, you've heard the term mulligan. You'd love that to do yes. over there, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, it could do. Just, uh, yeah, it could do. From that you've, you've literally just got to look at the, like, like from this green here, like where we're looking here, right? So you can tell by the lie of the land around that this putt is more than likely going to go right to left. Because as you can see, up here to the right-hand side, up where the next tee box is, it looks as if the green is kind of coming more towards us and to the left now it's showing us as point one below our feet right here so that would tell you that right at our feet right here the putt is going ever so and i mean ever so slightly left to right because obviously below the ball's line below your feet and it's like a whitish color now as you can see as we move on a little bit it remains white up here so this is probably level to here but then we're getting a little bit of blue here a little bit of blue here and a little bit of blue here. Now, looking at the lie of the land, like what I'm saying to you, it looks as if this green goes right to left. So I would say that these grids here are moving right to left. So I would probably think that this putt here is going to be maybe a touch outside right lip. Touch outside right lip. But of course, it's complete guesswork, mate. It really is. You've really just got... This mode is... You're not going to make birdies every single putt in this mode. You just need to make sure you get two putt pars. And then every now and again, you will make one of these putts. Let's have a look. So yeah, look. There's that right to left break. Let's see what I mean. I didn't think it was going to be that much, okay, but it, it, it definitely it's broke right enough. to left, which is what I thought, because you could see the green was moving that way. So you, you've just got to use a little bit of a kind of like extra sensory kind of vision. Yeah, just, to, just to kind of just look, you've got to look at everything, mate, really. 
you know, is it coming off of a bunker? You know, that it's just, yeah, it, it's it's a really neat mode. It is cool. It is fun. I enjoy it anyway. I think it's really good. Right, what have we got? So we are 206. So it's this pin, isn't it? Up the hill. I'm going to actually take a little bit off this. We're going to go 200 because we are using a 5 iron. So when it lands, it will run a touch. And we do have the wind slightly hurting us. I don't actually mind us going more to the left here because I think this green does go left to right. And it's a big uphill slope, isn't it? From front to back. This should, this should, this should start coming back down towards us, hopefully. Ah, uh, we didn't hit it high enough. That's a shame. Now, this will be a nightmare putt. This will be a nightmare putt. What's this? This is probably about five inches downhill. So, we're going to go nine. Actually, we're going to go ten, just in case we, we, just to make sure we get there. Okay, buddy. Yeah, no worries. Um, I mean, this is a tricky one because this is downhill. Um, so yeah, this is this is a very, real, real tough one to to kind of picture. So we know very well this green is going right to left, even though it's saying it's level here. See, see that this is where it throws you off because look at the color of the grids, the beads here; they are dark blue. Ah, uh, could have gone a little bit more. Could have gone a little bit more. Yeah, he would have liked that to fall, but he needed to gun it just a little more. And then obviously up, up there, let to the top, see the extreme, the extreme contoured color is like orangey red, purpley color. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And he'll stay right where he is. I think the, the thing that most people kind of get wrong when playing simulation difficulty is they think par is a bad score, where actually par is not. Par is a very good score. So you've just got to aim for your pars on every hole. Every now and again, you, you might you might put maybe five or six um, approach shots close to the pin or within side 10 feet, and you might look at the green and think, do you know what, that does look level, and you can kind of be aggressive with putt and make the birdies. That's what simulation's all about. Any other time, like, you're outside 20 feet, just kind of get the ball down to the hole, take your par, move on just like real golf. Do you know what I mean? Just grind it out. That's what makes it fun for me. I, I do enjoy that aspect of it. This one started up the right side. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. The Down difficult the one for me is working out the, the elevation obviously change well, because you can't rely on maths because we don't know what the exact elevation hole. change of this is. Yeah, We've just literally got to guess. I mean, that could be anywhere, I guess, from 10 to 20 feet uphill. I mean, obviously, if we, a 10, a 10, a 10 foot uphill is going to play so much different than a 20 foot uphill. Then add in the wind. That's four to seven. The range on that wind is four to seven miles an hour. So if you if you're adding if you're doing the maths, the difference between the four and sevens added in with the elevation change as well. That makes it really tough to get on the pin. So we're gonna go for maybe I don't know ten feet uphill here. So we're gonna add on three. So we're gonna call that one four six, and then we're gonna go maybe a five wind. So maybe we wanna hit this about one fifty. Maybe 152. Oh no, I didn't. Ha I didn't. I didn't have finesse shot on. Didn't have finesse shot. That went really, really quickly. Really quickly. Lucky we got them. Um, good swing on that. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Right. So here we are. 1.2 degrees footer. below. 1.2 degrees below. So the color of the of the grid lines here. So we're going to call the first two grids around about one degree below because they are literally the same color.
but then we can see the the break starts to level out because it's going to a, a whiter color so we wouldn't call this a one degree putt all the way to the hole which would be about there one degree would be there so it's literally one one degree is that there to the hole to that first grid line that's how i call it putts up to 15 foot if, if it's two degrees below then you would go obviously another half But uh, we're going to go one, we're going to go about, I think we're going to bring it in just a little bit because we are putting uphill. It looks like that's about two inches uphill. We're going to go, we're going to go 17, make sure we get there. And we're going to hit, bring it in just a touch because the break's going to be less as we go. Oh, no, so close. So close. Why does the degree, degree change as you move the arrow? Um, it's it's just a way of working out a little bit more accurate. Um, it's, it's if you go left or right here, like you see. Because obviously we know here. See, if we go down here, that there is 0.8 below. So if we was to come up here, it's probably going to be 0.8 above. So if we come all the way, keep coming all the way above here. Okay, and it levels out there. It's just trying to tell you the lie of the land, basically. Or above. It, it doesn't move. It doesn't change if you go forwards and backwards. It only works out to where the pointer is. So literally, if we put the pointer there, it's saying we're 0.2 degrees above. So if we put the pointer there, it's obviously going to be higher because the the arrow is is in a different position. It's up the hill, to, so to speak. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you're, you're looking at a different point of the right green, basically. Is. Right, we're gonna go over here, Magnus. Um, your thought process on putts are insane. Don't know how you can comprehend all of it. Very impressive. I mean, I'm probably wrong in on a few things, mate. It's just, it's just the way that I interpret the system. You probably find ten other guys that have a different system that interpret it different, but it's the way that I know. It's the way that works for me. Um, as you rotate, your position changes. No, I mean, the arrow doesn't matter. Beautiful it's the ball to feet. And yeah, yeah, it's the, the ball. The, the yeah, degrees above and below is always on the, um, it's always the ball in relation to your feet. Yeah, correct. Sorry, I don't think I was probably very clear there. Uh, right, what have we got here? 111, and we're going uphill. Uphill. Where's the pin? So pins at the front of the green, so we can we can go long here, and and get spin. Twenty five. Right, this should spin back to the pin, hopefully. Come on, we need this to go past the pin because it will come back a bit. That's not going to go past the pin, but we'll take that. Stop, 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 stop. We will take that. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, right, six, so we're feet point in six there. above, so we know the putt's going to go right to left. And we're going we're gonna to bang it two grids past the hole and just hit it firm and true. Don't give the hole away, though. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eight. Right, we'll take that. And Three under par through eight. Nine under par. Just keeping ahead of the field here, just a little bit. Uh, so we're going to clear that left bunker, aren't we? Because that left bunker is 287 to the back. But it is uphill and we do have the wind off the right. So we need to make sure we err on the side of caution here, I think. Oh, we too much. That's okay, though. That's okay. That's fine. 
that's fine. Looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Right, this is where it gets really fairway. tough now because we've got a red uphill no arrow. Beautiful look at the ninth with the club. <laughs> what do we think? Twenty feet uphill. Players beware, severely uphill. Whatever club you select, add one more. So if we call that twenty foot uphill, seven forty twenty one. Let's add seven onto that number. So that makes that one eight five. Then a bit more for the wind. 190 maybe to the pin. Obviously we're playing a six iron, so we're gonna get a little bit run out here. Hmm. I don't want to take that left bunker on too much. I'd rather play middle green here. If we need a two putt par, we'll two putt par. One wind. Distance was perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a right. green and red This is tricky. Like this is tricky. I'm going to be brave on this one. I know it's downhill. It's probably two or three inches downhill. But I'm actually going to hit this kind of on the number. So we're 2.1 above. Now, I can tell by that. Yeah, this is an extreme break. So we're going to be looking about here. 2.1 about here. <laughs> oh, boom. The there we go. <laughs> and that will be a sizzling 31 on the front side. What a read. Far. What a putt. Oh, my goodness. Cheers, Javel. See, that was the two degrees. Perfect. That was middle That was middle grid of the second box. So that was exactly two degrees. So there was one degree to the first grid line, which is half a grid from the hole, and then another half for the one degree, because it's basically two degrees from side to side. So a one whole grid, one whole box is two degrees. And it was the perfect number. It's 14, 14 feet. That was sweet. That was absolutely beautiful. That absolutely makes me buzz when I make putts like that. Right, I don't mind going short here. Don't want to go too long. I don't mind going front right because we can, we can pitch on and get the uh, get the easy bird oh wow this might have a chance oh oh boy that was close boom magnus so good part cheers games elite off the front of the green on the fringe. that did feel good that long one look coming up here for eagle that did feel good that shot all right three above <gasps> oh, oh, stop, ball. Stop, ball. Nearly hold out, and look where we are now. Nine foot by. What did I say? That was a uh, as an easy birdie chance. So we are 0.8 below. We're 10 feet away. So 0.8. So that would be one degree to there. So 0.8 would be about here. We're going to hit this on the number. But we are 10 foot. We are a little bit closer than normal. So we're going to go in a little bit more. Because I basically work things out to about between 12 and 15 feet. So I think it's in just a little bit. We're going to try here. Mm, oh. Good stroke. Just a fraction off target. But you can't get the speed any better. Than Sugar. That. What did I say? Easy birdie. I've got to remember those spinners, so when you're that close, part. they so don't generally spin. Side. You still and get no quite a bit of run on them. Of the field. Right, onto the par five. Here we go. Right, we're going for a power drive here all the way up. We need the distance here. Double red. Oh, oh my it. word. Wow, that power drive is really stitched us up there. That is really well, hurt time. us. That one's in the rough. Might be a right, we're going to have to... Oh, boy. Oh, this could not be worse. Um... 
we could three iron punch which would get us a considerable way up there 234 and it might actually run to the front of the green here this could actually run to the front of the green right here we go let's sit back let's get comfortable let's do a practice swing that's not enough just got to find that position on the joystick that's too much it's not enough Right there. This is a tricky one. There we go. Oh, I didn't select punch, did I? What an idiot. I forgot to I forgot to change the punch shot. Well, Francis uh, has not been a pretty ow. exhibition on this hole, but still, third shot coming up. Chance Fool. to do something. Yeah, Absolute I fool. Route, Rich. You know, clip that tree, but fortunate really to stay on the fairway. I know there's a long way to go, but I mean, really, right, I think we're thanking the lucky stars. 50, 37, 52, 50. I mean, that looks about, I would say that was about 10 or 12 foot uphill, that. So we're going to add on four, one, four, one. We got the wind. We're one below our feet, so the ball's going to go left to right. Can't believe we forgot to select the punch shot there. This is short, way short. Not too bad. Outside chance of a birdie. Oh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. All right, so 1.6 above. Chance, really outside wow. chance for birdie. Okay, we're going to just hit this pretty hard. 1.6 above. So that would be about one there. We don't want to go 1.6 because, like I say, we're hitting it hard through the break. I'll try about here. Ah. Oh. That was silly. Got to be birdie in the par fives. Got to be birdie okay. in them. Well done. It is a par here at 11. And he'll maintain Still, we still have a four shot, shot lead. lead. We still have a four shot lead here. That's fine. No big deal. Right, I think this one's over that limb. That tree of that. That limb of that tree, sorry. Yeah, look at this. Perfect. Beautiful. Right, good shape now. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday. 144 is a good number. Weekend in that another good drive here. Now note his number. second from the fairway. 134 yards left. Would not surprise me a bit if you were to stick this one close. Yeah, I kind of like this. Might be a bit too much actually. I like the looks of this one. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. All right, 1.5 below. Downhill putt. So we're going to go 9. 1.6 below, it's telling me. So that's 1. 1. 1.6 would be here, but we're only 9, 10 feet away. So we're going to bring in half of that. I'm going to call it about there. And I reckon it, it kind of levels itself out a bit, this putt. Oh, beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Birdie here at number 12. And he's now the leader by four here on this on. Friday. Right, we need another, um, another high draw here, I think. Out to the right. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's really good. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. It's drawn around that corner. Beautiful. <laughs> no issues here. That is into the fairway. Uh, cheers, Gamers Elite. Thank you very much. Uh, so one he's at his back as he readies his second to the par four. Thanks, six. Twenty-five. I'm gonna call that a seven wind. 
But we are downhill as well. I would say this is six or seven feet downhill looking at that. Maybe take off to 130, 120. Yeah, this will be all right. Yes. Come on. Oh, now we're hitting them. It's going to be a good shot when it lifts the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet. Excellent shot. Right. Point nine below. So that's going to be one. But we are ten feet. So again, we're going to go. I'm going to call that a little bit less than that. And the two, the two grid lines closer to the hole are definitely lighter in colour than these two close to me. So. I'm going to bring it a little bit more because I think the break does level out. Got it. Oh, it's dead yeah, center. It's dead center. Come one. on. And he gets it to 12 under par. Beautiful, beautiful streak. 185, 182. 10 foot, 12 foot downhill. What do we reckon? Hmm. Tricky. 15 feet downhill, maybe? No, not that much. Surely not that much. I'm going to go 12. We're going to take four off that. 181. Then we got the wind. 168. This. I don't know if this is going to get there. It should do. 168. What is it to the back of that bunker? Well, it's 173 ish to the front of the green. Hmm. It's a hard one to judge this. Let's go here. Oh, it's long. It's long. Okay, that one's dancing. Chance now for another birdie. Oh, look at this. This uh, really is all about visualization. You've got to see the line seven, in your head, pick out a spot. Maybe a foot, foot and a half in front of you and aim for that. Seven. Seven below. So point seven is there. We're 25 feet. We're going to go about here. Come on, turn. Keep turning. Come on. Oh. Oh, boy. He had it oh. right in the jaws and it just wouldn't get there. Wow. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll remain at minus 12. Oh, Tyrrell's coming up, look. Eight under par. Right, we've, I think we can I think we can cut the corner off the... Uh, for the fairway here. So where's the corner? It's probably going to be over that corner of that bunker, isn't it? It's 306 there to that corner. Frisky shot, this. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Oh, yeah. Yes. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend. And that, another good drive here. 43. So from right around the middle of the fairway, this is second. 15. Downhill. We got the wind. 133. How much downhill is that? It doesn't look like that's much, does it? I'm going to say maybe five or six feet. Seven feet, maybe just take off two or three. Call that one four three, and then a five-ish wind one three seven. That's not gonna be enough club, is it? One three seven. I go one three six. Mm, I go one three five. Oh, decisions. Hmm. Oh, I don't know here. This is a tricky one. Tricky, tricky. Oh, I've hit it long now. Well, this could be good. Oh, no, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So, birdie okay. chance. Four above. Come on. Oh, he's got it. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Pace to get up that slope. Come on. He's in for a birdie. 
Yay, Mandy, and welcome. Move to 13 under par for the tournament. How you doing? Not seen you in stream for a little while, buddy. Uh, right, what have we got here? One. Mandy, you've missed some epic, epic action tonight. <laughs> you have missed some mental games tonight. Thirty-four. That's not going to be enough club, is it? One fifty-two. Uh, 152. So it's 150 to the front, but it is downhill. I reckon that's like 12 or f 12 to 15 down, surely. So if we take off maybe five, call that 157 and the wind. I reckon 149 is a nice number. You'll watch it back. Yeah, have a have a watch of our first competitive online game against. Oh, what was the character's name? Second in the world up on the leaderboard they are. What was the character's name? Um, oh, something something apt Dave or something like that. I think it's the very first competitive game we played. But it was it was amazing. It was amazing. <clears throat> and then this one we're doing the simulation career round here. We're currently I don't even know what we're currently are. We're currently seven under for the round. We've had a really, really good round. It's been a really good, solid back nine so far. Apart from par in the the, uh, the par five, this has been a nice, nice back nine. We've made some beautiful putts here. Really got the numbers right. Come on. This, I don't think this is going to be far off. Stay. That is a good, sensible shot right there. Gives him a good look. At Why birdie. couldn't the toilet now paper this, cross the road? Another birdie. It got stuck. What's that? It got stuck by a croc? Stuck. St I don't what's that? What's that app? I think you might have to rewrite that second bit there, the punchline. Oh, in a cr got stuck in a cr <laughs> Is that meant to be a crack? It got stuck in a crack. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> right, point three below. Uh, this is uphill. Yeah, this is uphill, so... Point three below. It seems to think that this putt goes left to right, but I don't think it does. I think it's gonna maybe it will maybe start left to right, but I think it's gonna then go straight. I'm actually gonna hit this right at it. Maybe right edge. Oh yeah, great yeah, read. Good putt. A Fourteen here, under. Come on, can we get fifteen? And two holes to play. Five clear of the field here in round two. I'd love a ten under par in simulation. That'd be awesome. Uh, right. We're going. I'm not going to play that power drive again because that completely destroyed me last time. Stop, 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 stop. Errant tee shot here, Rich, but going to have to muscle this I gate the staircase because it's always up to something. Put a put I gate the staircase because I have a 15-month-old little girl. Right, how can we get over here? Can we... Oh, this is tough, isn't it? Oh. I don't know if we're going to be able to get up now because we're... 76 to 85% lie. We might not be able to get this ball up in the air enough. Give it a go. If it lands short, that'll be fine. And that's where you need to be. Back into the fairway on this par five. Uh, what have we got here? Straight finesse. Uphill into the wind. Uphill into the wind. 60 degree wedge is going to come back to us, isn't it? Nope. Nope, it's going to spin back. <clears throat> I've not played the par five as well at all. 
Look at that. A slow 1.6 and an underswing 2.2. Have you unlocked all the gold shots? Um, all the ones that I I need, Mandy. All the ones that I need. So we've got... Um, I think the only one we haven't got gold is the Texas Wedge. Um, but I don't see the point in that one. All we've done is unlock the bronze for that one just to get the shot type. Now, what do we reckon this is uphill? Two feet? Two feet uphill? 56, 66... 76, 80. Maybe we need to go to 80 here. I'm going to go 82. It's saying 0.3 above our feet, but I reckon it's going to come off of the left a little bit because of the um, that bank there on the left of us just by our back. It's kind of coming down in towards the green. So, yeah, I think we've ruined our chances here of getting a, a birdie completely. So it's just a case now of just lagging up a putt and getting our par. Well, that was never going to climb that hill, and he has really played the par fives bad. Coming up. Normally they're the ones, they're the st they're the scoring holes, the par fives, but I've really stunk them up tonight. Yeah, that's good putt. It is in for par here at 17. All right, come and on. He'll remain well in control of this tournament. All right, this one's really difficult because you can't see the fairway. Oh man, I'm swinging good. Swinging good tonight. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. Another good drive here. All right, one eight one. Let's go to Noda. Tough not to get distracted with the majestic amphitheater setting here at the 18th at Riviera, but be mindful. You must land the ball left of the hole to get it close. I can't see where I'm aiming. I think this is going to be short. I think we might have to go up to the six. Uh, and then knock it down a bit. One, eight, six. I reckon about, I reckon about here. So we're going to play it up to the left because of the slope. Oh no, it's going to be long. Is it? Oh, that's a good shot. That's absolutely delightful. That's absolutely beautiful, uh, that is. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Come on, let's finish on a blinder. Now for another birdie. So it's point two above. Stay. Oh yes, get in. Get yeah, in. Come on. Blast. So will 62 that our featured golfer claims that's what I'm that talking first about ever title Frank it's looking promising through 36 <sighs> what a round of golf is. no and bogeys no no bogeys to become a winner on the PJ tour well, absolutely blinding 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 simple, golf but the last love that is the cheers games difficult. elite so that love that it. I love for this Mark simulation Parker mode so much tower, it's so Frank good Navalo. for Nota Begay, Iona Steven and all our crew Rich Lord absolutely love it Right, so we should have unlocked another level, I think. Yeah, with 19,000 points up to level 47. So we've got another two skill points. There we go. Um, yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? I think that's going to be it for tonight. What's that? That's two hours and ten on the stream tonight. Um, I'm going to call it a night there because I've got a bit of a stinking headache tonight. So... That light there is not doing me any favours whatsoever. So yeah, we're just going to hop out of here. We're going to claim our rewards. Uh, we had, um, I think we peaked at sort of 15, Mandy. Um, but yeah, definitely down, definitely down on normal. 27 we had last night. Um, and I think the night before we had around right about the same as well, 25th, uh, 25. Uh, you're level 50 now. Congratulations, Mags. Welcome. I didn't realize you were in the stream. Thank you for jumping in. Have you just joined us or have you been uh, kind of lurking? Congratulations on 50, though. These rewards are a bit rubbish, aren't they? These are just going to be 500 points, aren't they, each? Really not doing much. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm just going to grab these, just claim these. 
and you just joined. Ah, oh, Mags, you missed some epic, epic games tonight. Did some amazing um, head to heads. And just had a blind in simulation round, shot 50. No, what was it? 60. Chat might be able to help me out. 62. Uh, uh, Riviera for round two of the career. Uh, had some really enjoyable golf tonight. It's been a fun, fun night. Raise your back, Max. 50 not out. <laughs> 47. Free to go. Um, but yeah, like like I said last night, I'm gonna actually just save the um I'm gonna save these four because I wanna put one on power. And it, it's gonna cost us uh it's gonna cost us eight to get there. So un until we get to level forty nine, we're not gonna have uh we're not gonna have the enough points to do so, but I am gonna save them. Uh you saw the last five minutes of your sim <laughs> nicely played. Uh, some of the putts uh, I had were absolutely just humdingers. So, some, yeah, crazy, crazy putts. Loved it. Absolutely love simulation mode. Brilliant, brilliant fun. But yeah, I think that's us done now. Um, not much else to say, I don't think. So unfortunately, Mags, we're going to have to jump out of this one because i got a bit of a bad headache tonight. Um, how many more sp sponsor challenges have you got? Loads. Loads, 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 loads. Um, yeah, there's so many challenges. It's crazy. I think we're we're getting close to doing. <clears throat> so we got one Callaway challenge to do, which is I think it. Yeah, this one here, four birdies or better. But that's easy enough to do. Um, and then we can move on to. I think I'm gonna do Cobra next. I like getting the club ones over the the gear ones. Um, so I'm probably going to do Cobra after that. And then, of course, we've got, like, all of these all of these featured challenges to do. Sawgrass, Masters, and the Players. Sorry. PGA Tour, Masters, Players. Uh, we've done a couple of the Players ones, but these are actually, these are actually quite tough because you have to make a lot of these shots. Like, a lot of these are hole-outs. As you can see, yeah, the, the hole-out ones are a real, real challenge. So they, they take a bit of grinding. Um, take some Advil, Tony, and get some rest, lad. See you next time, Governor. Yeah, okay, Mandy. I, I was going to have two tablets before I came on stream, but for some reason I didn't. I got a really sensible thing and, and got a glass of milk because I've got um quite bad acid as well tonight. So I'm, I'm not in the best of shapes tonight. I wasn't going to come on stream, but uh, I thought, you know what, let's just, uh, let's just bash it out. Let's just do it. I do enjoy the streams. I do enjoy the golf, so... I've kind of just powered through it tonight, but yeah, I'm gonna take some uh gonna take some pills now. Get off of here. It doesn't help looking into a real bright OLED and having a big uh a big stream light on there to the left hand side of me. So that's why I wear the cap a lot on stream, because it does kind of shield some of the sun and um, some of the, the light coming through there. But yes, I will catch you all on the next one. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me tonight. I do appreciate that. Um, thank you for joining and sticking in there, Gamers Elite. Uh, for everybody else that joined us early on, Pete, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Uh, who else we got coming here? Javel obviously came in, didn't he? Nexus, thank you for jumping in. I don't think there was any new names here tonight. Oh, Doug, Doug, jumped, Doug, Doug Smith jumped in again. Our one and only Super Chatter. Um... Connor jumped in there. I think he got upset when I said Brighton were going to beat Man United tomorrow night. Um, <laughs> who else we got? Oh, Mank on the Bank came in. Thank you, guys. Magnus was in, obviously. Uh, I don't think I've missed anybody else out. Javo was in for a good discussion on the putting, on sim difficulty, and then obviously yourself, Mandy, and then Mags at the end. But yeah. I say, guys, thank you very much again for joining us. Nice little community we've got sort of starting here. Do appreciate all the company. It is fun. It's you guys that make it what it is. So thank you for that. I will see you all on the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.